Sub-Saharan Africa has been fundamental to the global prosperity of the advanced countries. And Africa had a role to play. It has a role as a raw material producer. We will not allow Sub-Saharan Africa to escape that. Okay, we do everything to keep Sub-Saharan Africa where it is, also impoverished. It's absolutely vital for the prosperity of everyone else. So let's get clear about that. Okay, and this means all the economic structures, all the global institutions and the economics we teach everyone is all designed to keep Africa exactly where it is. And whether it is Europe or US or now China, it's always the same. We need Africa to be impoverished because we need those raw materials and we need them dirt cheap. Okay, so that's the message. It doesn't mean to say that there's nothing Africans can do. Of course there is. This is what it's about. Because if Africa does do something different, I assure you living standards of all those in Europe and North America and Asia is going to fall. Okay? And that is a big price to pay. I assure you that the West is not going to allow that without a big fight. Okay, so the job of many Western academics is to convince Africans they have to keep doing what they're doing. Okay? And to show them it's your fault that you're poor. It's not our fault. It's your fault that you're poor. You know, so this is what we do in academic institutions. We know the basic forces that have caused this underdevelopment. We know it's colonization. We cannot afford to allow Africa to industrialize and start producing manufactures. Okay, so we will do everything to stop that. And I'm going to show you how we actually block that. We had East Asian rapid industrialization processes. So in the earlier period, we had Japan and Korea and Taiwan. Okay, rapid growth sucking in raw materials from Africa, driving up the prices. And after those countries finished industrialization, then Sub-Saharan African growth rate again fell. Sub-Saharan Africa is condemned to this role, just the supplier of raw materials, not a manufacturer. The currencies are collapsing of these countries, and many of them are Sub-Saharan African countries. After colonization ended, we needed new structures to keep these countries where they were. Okay? And the first of those is aid. Okay? We give them aid. Aid for what? Actually, we give them aid to keep repressive regimes in power. That's all. All the hypocrisy about transparency and democracy and bullshit like that, it's all bullshit. But it would go to country after country offering loans. And if the president did not accept the loan, they were killed. It's just economics. It's economic warfare. The rich declare war on the poor. It happens everywhere. It happens in a country. The rich control the government. Of course they do. You really believe you have democracy? Come on! I mean, grow up! Who has all the subsidies and income support? US? Europe. The largest budgets in the world for supporting their farmers are Europe and US. You see, we're keeping them dependent. We're keeping them on a string. This next round of the WTO is designed to block that. To block anyone else getting on top of the ladder.